Alright, so I believe this is going to be our epilogue now. I think this is a chapter 7 epilogue. Alrighty, everyone. If you could just bear with me as I get my laptop set up and then we can begin. What a day already. <laughs> it's just going to be one of those days. Seriously, it's just going to be one of those days where every possible thing going on to mess with me and delay me and annoy me and uh, what can you do? In life, you get those days, correct? You get those days. There's not much can be done about them. Uh, all you can do is roll with the punches, as they say, right? And that's what I'm trying to do right now is roll with the punches. Um, with the baloney going on, the annoyance. The good news is it should everything should be all right. It's just a very annoying morning where I couldn't start on time because of a million things going on. It's just the moment I woke up this morning, there was stuff going on. I'm like, what the... Like, what is happening here? I'm like, what the fuck happened? And I'll tell you about some of it. The thing is, like, I'd like to tell you about all of it. I really would. I would love to tell you about all of it, but, you know, anything that I reveal to you guys about my private life sadly gets used against me. So if I even reveal all the details, uh, you know, it's going to cause problems. So I can't even really do that, you know? I would love to tell you every little nuance of what happened, but uh, I can't really. All right. Well, let, let's get this show on the road. Jasper's crawling all over me. Let's get this show on the road, and uh, and then we'll begin here. All right. <sighs> this morning was a pain in the butt, all right, for various different reasons. First of all, uh, this morning my wife was getting ready for work. She wakes up before me because she works earlier. <laughs> and, you know, I'm getting up, and as I'm getting up, I realize that at some point in my sleep, Jasper has vomited in the bedroom, which is a big mess. And it's a big hairball mess. And I'm like, oh, you know, now my wife is running all around to get ready to get go to work. You know, she's out the door. So immediately, do you think that's the best thing you want to see when you wake up? Of course not, right? It's like, oh my God. Uh, well, I guess I got to clean that up, right? And I'm working on that. I'm doing my usual uh, morning ro routine of everything around the house. And Basically, a series of events starts to unfold that's incredibly annoying. It was like pigs were flying over my house, volcanoes were erupting, the sky had fallen, hell had become an ice cube. I couldn't fucking believe it. And the thing is, I could tell you about some of them, but basically, I, I, here's the thing. Sadly, on the internet, as you guys know, I'm stalked by a bunch of weirdos. They do everything they can to impede upon my personal life. And any little piece of information I give you, they literally try to figure out. Like last year, I had mentioned, oh, my car broke down. And they actually called every car repair place in my area to impersonate me and find out which one I actually went to and how much money I paid to get my car fixed. What was the purpose of that? I have no idea, but that's how sick it is. And that's just a commonplace thing that happens to me, okay? So if I actually told you all the stuff detail for detail, they likely would probably try to do messed up stuff for whatever reason. I have no idea. It just doesn't make any sense what they do, but they just do it. So in a nutshell, all right, basically I've been involved with this particular process of something going on for almost two to three months now that should have been a very routine thing. It should have been something that was very easy to do, but this particular company I'm dealing with has made it a nightmare. They have wasted my time at this point, probably dozens of hours of time. They have made me change my schedule around multiple times in my life. There's been days where I told you guys, well, guys, you know, I have to have this day off this week because I have an appointment and it's their fault, okay? I find, and this is no exaggeration, probably about 80 to 90% of the time that something goes wrong for me, it's because someone else was incompetent or didn't do their job. Just being honest, just being completely and utterly honest. It has not been easy. It has been very frustrating. But sadly, I'm between a rock and a hard place. I just have to deal with it. It's part of being an adult, but it's incredibly frustrating when it affects your business and it affects your personal life. Well, this morning I wake up to be told an appointment has been made on your behalf. What? Why has an appointment been made on my behalf? For what? What are you talking about? So I don't know what this is. So now, not only do I have a pile of cat vomit to clean up, but I also have to do all my normal stuff in the morning like I'm supposed to be doing to get ready for stream. And now there's some appointment going on. I'm like, what the hell is that? So now I'm literally on the phone, in online chats, 
cleaning up a pile of vomit, doing all this at once, while I'm also running around the house trying to do my normal routine, it just so happens we have a new toaster, <laughs> okay? The reason we have a new toaster is because the old one was broke. So we couldn't toast anything anymore, so we ordered a new toaster, but we haven't really used it yet, so we don't know how it works that well. So I'm like, all right, so I'm, I'm, micro, I'm, I'm, I'm micromanaging my time, I'm multitasking, I put my bagel in the toaster, I got my coffee going, I'm cleaning up a pile of vomit, I'm on hold <clears throat> while I'm doing all this, and then I run back to my kitchen, my bagel is smoking. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God, it exploded. It fucking sign fucking explodes. I don't know this toaster yet and I completely over toast it. It's smoking. <laughs> Like, oh shit, what do I do now? So now I'm trying to put this out. You're like, oh my god. So I'm cleaning up this mess. And, and then then on top of all of that, Jasper has a toy that he has had for about a year now. Actually, it was a toy that was donated by a viewer last year. And by the way, you guys, I know you guys love Jasper Kitty. If you ever wanted to like donate something for him, like a toy or a treat, we could talk about that. If you want to email me, darksidephil at hotmail.com. There's been a few fans who've done that over the years, and he loves that kind of stuff. This one particular toy donated by a fan last year has been one of his favorite toys, okay? Well, this particular toy is filled with catnip, which is one of the reasons why he's attracted to it. Well, this morning, he decides he's going to burst his toy with his, his back claws, and the catnip goes all over the house. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Everything at once. Like literally every possible thing at once that could go wrong. Then I'm in an online chat, okay, that I need to chat before I go on stream. And my internet goes out in the middle of the chat, which disconnects the chat. And then the internet comes right back. So now I have to start the whole chat process from scratch of being on hold and talking to an agent. And I'm like, oh my god. So anyway, that's just a few ideas of things that I went through today. Okay, just a few. I didn't even tell you everything. Okay, so it's definitely been one of those mornings. Now, in addition to that, yesterday, I took out my air conditioners. Okay, my wife and I have been waiting and dying to get these air conditioners out of the windows because number one, we want to get fresh air in this house. And it's very hard. It's been a very stuffy summer um, with some unprecedented streak of hot days. And we both have allergies and dust, dust and pollen allergies. And we've been waiting to be able to open the windows and get fresh air circulation and everything in the house. And finally, we had our two 80 degree plus days this weekend. Okay, those are done now. And now it looks like we're going to have actual autumn weather moving forward, meaning it'll be at the highest in the 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but it looks like a lot of days will be in the 60s, and nights are actually going to get cool. We had already bought our air filters for our furnace so that we have clean air for the fall when we turn on the furnace at night when it gets cold. So we're good to go, but we just need to wait for the temperatures to dip enough to get the air conditioners out of the windows. So yesterday I did that. I took them out. And I, had to, I've, I have all these, these screens in the house with big holes in them that I have to tape up with weatherproof tape. That's another story for another day. But anyway, so that's going on. And I'm opening up all the windows this morning to try to get fresh air in the house and everything at the same time. And that feels a little weird. Like today, I guarantee you it's going to feel a little weird in here. It's going to be a little hot because I'm not used to it. It's not necessarily cool yet. All right. And I'm a little nervous. Uh, you know, right now, we're in a situation where I don't know what the future holds that it's going to be warm in here this afternoon. Um, I don't know how warm it will be because in the afternoon, if it's sunny outside, the sun beats on the front of my house, which warms up this office like a clay oven. And there's nothing that can be done about it in the afternoons. That's why I have an air conditioner in here. Um, but in the fall, usually it doesn't really get that sunny or if it does, it's very cold outside and negates it. But right now it's not. We're kind of in that unique middle time where it's still kind of warm, but not really, but then it gets cold at night. So I'm a little nervous about today also being overly warm and me kind of being hot here in the office instead of being, you know, relaxed. It's like, oh my God, everything going on at once, right? So anyway, that's just a little bit of what's going on in my life. That's why I was late today to stream. My apologies to those who like being here on time for stream. And I'm sorry I was like 15 minutes late. I'm hoping I won't have any more annoying interruptions today, quite frankly. I definitely think that the last 11 years have been the best 11 years of my life. 